<laughs> okay. Ready, steady, cook. Yep. And is there a dip rep guy? There is. Perfect. So this, 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 the money, this, 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 this. These all suck. I'd rather do that one. Try and make you extra happy even at the cost of money. Let's not screw this up this time. You build here. And then the four of these build over here. Lead off these. You sit here. We don't want this. We don't want this. You guys to there. Good. These ones earn money. Very good. Find who you hate. He hates Aragon. Aragon, you're stinky. That secures this. Poland doesn't hate us today. And then you. No, baby isn't good enough. I'm going to need that back. Come on. Because I need this. And then this. And then this. Against Lithuania? Sure, who cares. Grab your leader. What's Lithuania going to do? Nothing, that's what. Okay, now, offer our friends access, and then start sucking up to future allies, like the Pope. Oh, yoink out one province from you. Because that's worth a whole extra half a ducat a month. Good. Okay. Not yet. Yes to this. Couple of months we should have this one. He got unioned, so he's no longer in, in the war. That should be our mission click for Estonia. Also for you, I'll take the tax hit to make you extra strong. Really? My army's too small? Sure, I'll build one more unit then. Now, does that mean Poland is elective? It does, and it means we should be trying to win the election. Especially with stats like that. Not 
quite sure why Norway thinks they need to be here, but okay. Peace out. Okay, make sure that my minions have started this. I want a claim on here and here, please. I would like you to claim this, this, this. Okay, hopefully that works. You gonna go friendly? Stab, stab. And then stab. Morning. Morning, Salah. Here. He has not gone friendly, sadly. What else is there to do? Why, what else is there to do? There is this to do. What happened to my 12 galleys? Oh, come on. One got killed in the fighting. Fine, we rebuild you. We traded a galley for a trade ship. I do like that he's now happy enough with us. That's lovely. I do need to pay for my army because we've got to... Damn it, we didn't get the free PU over these guys. Would have been nice. The extra um, tax doesn't hurt though. One line left. Soon TM. Fine, one more of you as well. The Pope really doesn't want to be my friend. Oh, yes, he does. Excellent back, offer him our friendship. Offer access. 
and then go back to sucking up to Sweden. So I need access through you so that I can be in position for doing this. Hello? I've asked for access. I should be able to go there. They haven't generated the claims there. Nor have they generated the claims there. It's my fault for not setting them as rival on day one. If you're big enough, it can be worth it. Otherwise, no, I tend to not like it. If you're an OPM, absolutely. Otherwise, not really. I don't like it. It's not a question of... <laughs> For me, it's not a question of whether it's strictly good. I dislike managing it, especially on high speed. Okay, call that back. Get rid of this. And then we look at this. Doesn't owe me 10 favors yet. Soon TM. Not yet. You know what? That'll do. And instead we'll go make our minion a bit happier. We need to get them to 150 for their, their mission click. No, if you're someone like Ming, it's, it's like actually a huge source of money to take ESR... Because it lets you do two extra cell lands. But for us with our big subjects. And that don't have as much land directly. Yes, I will take that. That baby is quite good. It's less of a good thing. Land maintenance man pays for himself. Inflation man will pay for himself. <sighs> No, we're waiting for our 10 favors. Making sure that he doesn't want any of this, or more accurately, indicating that it's all mine. So we could go there. But we could also go do this one. Poland, help. Pull back to and then we'll do Novgorod after this. So, from my perspective, the thing I want here is Danzig. You hate me, good for you. I could start getting you used to the idea of being my subject. I don't really need the favor now that we're here. What I need is you to be slightly more in love with me so that we can click your mission thing. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't work that way, Glunder. If an, if an alliance partner asks for something, they're trading for the favors you already owe them. If you hover here, it tells you how many favors you owe them. At the very bottom, we owed Poland four. They're trading those favors for the stuff they ask you. They're not offering to give you more favors of your own. Unless I've misunderstood what you're trying to say there. Uh, 
I should be able to click the Swedish mission click. No. You're above 160. What's the deal? Ah, your loyalty is not yet high enough. Fair enough. That's what I want before I give you freedom. Only seven should go help there. The rest of you head to that. Actually, their navy is better than mine. Hide. Very good. Get a diplomat. Let him out. Thank you for Danzig. Start fabricating claims. I'd rather my navy didn't get killed. Minimize unnecessary attrition. For you, I want your trade power. There. One bit of ally insurance on the capital. Yes, I'll buy that much progress on the Renaissance. And then it's time to be ready for here, so no. No. Those. How are we doing for winning the air? We're definitely in the lead. Okay, time to declare him tasty. Claims on you, support your heir, you need to love me enough that you stop trying to get your freedom. Okay, I should be able to peace out here, call this back, gobble up this. Thank you. Concentrate this. Okay, click the mission click because it gives us an accepted culture, which means the cores finish quicker. Don't really want the forts. If you'd go get him out. No, Sweden's doing that. You guys go. No, there. Increase this payout rate. No, like that. Now, have you allied Muscovy? No, good. We're done. We vassalize him, feed the bits to Sweden that Sweden wanted. And then come home. You can take over from these, so these can come home. Continue to suck up to you. New marriage. I need a new marriage with Burgundy.
looks like the elections got reset. That's a bit awkward. Yuck. But whatever. Um, now this. So, ODF. Give us some prestige. That's lovely. And now you... No! Not unconditional surrender. Oh wow, he's too big. That's a bit awkward, but we can go like that and finish him off later. In which case, I should go like that so we've got a cause for war in the future. Makes Muscovy ultra pissed, but eh. hiss, but whatever, we're safe from getting more of that done at the moment. You should be training, except that we kind of need to yoink, and it is yoink time. New mission. Yep, get rid of our overextension. That mission is a fine mission. Keep coring stuff. You get ready to pick those up. The heck? Oh, we're getting penalized for being overextended. That's true. Make you happier. Oh my god, no. No, 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 no. That cannot be allowed to be like that. What's your problem? Tech, tech. Phew. Otherwise, he can click the button to make everything a misery. Realize that you're happy. Good boy. There. Demand away, you get nothing. For you, use, use, we might as well lower the autonomy. They're going the wrong way, but that actually is good for us because it makes Sweden fight them instead of us. Thank you, Sweden. So if all of these could get back to, say, over here. the autonomies and the ones that we've already full cord. Thank you. All right. 
right. Hey. OSX Riosley. Uh, I've been doing the YouTube thing for a long, long time, many a year, but the streaming thing about two years? For a long time, I just didn't have the internet that could support doing the streaming, which is sad. For about two hours. Oh, I thought he meant uh, in a general sense. Not how long have you been going today? My bad if I misunderstood. We want the influence down. Now he knows both, yes. All bases are I've heard covered. There are jobs Thank you, here. Salah. Uh, I want to be a lion tamer. Thank you, Salah. Not yet. What we would like is to win your election. Although he keeps rampaging ahead with his own own guy. Yes, full state, full core, Danzig. They're going to rebel anyway. We might as well get the autonomy change down. Mm, if you could get over to there. Kill those. Gosh damn it. No. Turn around. Turn around. Fix those first. Then over here. No, I said first. Oh... Whatever. Let's call this using up the Merc's manpower rather than a mistake. It's totally a mistake. But we'll call it using up the Merc's manpower. Yes, yes. And then you to there. Pay your taxes. Oof. Being efficient with work manpower is important. We're conserving our real manpower. Okay, and then over here. And you as well. We got detected again. It's a wonder that that keeps happening, but whatever. Can I not do the last one of these yet? Not quite. Now. I definitely need to go do my friends. Sweden needs a little bit more. How close to you being fully? Holstein? England. This, this. Lower these autonomies. Teutonic Order has two more years. Yep. The, uh... From my perspective, the biggest one is the max force limit down. Especially if you're playing on um, very hard. If you're playing on very hard, you basically needed that to equalize with the AI. So it's going to make playing on very hard considerably, considerably tougher. Kind of need to get in place for the Danzig Rebels, but 
We also need to get in place for the next war. With you. Assuming that Muscovy hasn't befriended you. And he still hasn't. Oh my god, Silly is beating us? Seriously? How is Silly beating us? Why can't we move back here? And what month next year is the truce? December. Something is going wrong. Auto transport must be bugging out. Let's try again. Sure, that works. And now that that is finished. We might manage to squeeze in one more of those. manage to squeeze in one more of those. But it will help our sieges, if nothing else. There's maybe something to be said for next time releasing Carolinia here. If we're forced to do this again and use that to activate strong duchies, because we're hurting for the moment for not having strong duchies. Yeah, so like when he asks for this, if we go look at his number of favours, currently we owe him 13, and then we click accept. Now we only owe him three. Those are the 10 favours he was talking about. He wasn't offering to give us extra favours. Really close. Two clicks would actually... Yeah, I'll fight those. Two clicks would actually... Um, get him within to range. So we'll find one of the COTs and just be like, here, yeah, have some extra dev. That lets us click this button. You can have even more happiness. And then I don't, never need to pay for that ever again. That was disturbingly close.
No. I have my own war of this to do. Holland. He won't give me any, but as long as I beat him to all the sieges, this is okay. So, you know what? We can play race. Oh God, the rebels trigger again. You know what? Let my allies do that while I absorb all this. Yeah, that's my fault for not declaring the instant that the truce was done. It is mine by right. Okay, so at most he's going to get like two. Maybe now even only one. Well, actually, no, he'll get these two. Okay. When is the truce with you? So we untransfer your trade and we declare that you're tasty food as well. Oops. Annexed Holstein units. Rip. In fact, he's already... Called his trade back. That's not acceptable. It is mine. Okay, looks good. Just in case Sweden decides to give up that siege. One bit of ally insurance for Norway. Tempting. Yeah, I have. I've put I've put the safety mercs there. Whew. Still guaranteed by France, but has lost all this land. And England has managed to maintain their mainland holdings. Despite the fact that he hasn't allied Castile, that's really rare. Oof. But Burgundy has uh, not done well for himself. He still has his unions, but he lost... He lost these two. Well, he didn't gain them, more accurately. And France has.
Are we not on 100%? Yeah, there we go. This one. And then that one. What's the bet? He gave us an extremely long truce as well. Nah, not that long. 13 years. Could have been worse. And I definitely can get one more claim. Call this back. Gobble him up. Beautiful. No autonomy for you. You go hide in our subjects again. All right. Maybe I do this for, forced for first war this way, but it kind of feels wasteful not to. Well, it's not that bad. I still get reconquest for these bits, and it would mean the first war doesn't have to be so big. And I could set up Twer. And he certainly does owe me the favours. Do the one more. I should wait till he hits five, otherwise it won't be fun. Well, it depends. Who are you allied with? Yep, we can probably do that right now then. Go for it. Kind of hurts that he took that one. Why couldn't you have taken that one rather than the others? Give our minions their extra love. to pull you back, put one of you there, and grab all of these to go deal with those Swedish rebels. Okay, three shock versus not three shock. And there. No, you weren't supposed to bounce again. That's bullshit. You already bounced once. Can you quit it? And over here. Thank you. Mm, nope. Slaughter them if I have to. The peasants are revolting, sire. Good, and now across to Moskva. Uh, 
Optimistic Kazan. No, he's just trying to get the occupations he can while his friends are dying. One bit of ally insurance we get. Burgundy, beautiful. So about June of 70, we want to be able to declare a war on command. One of these can be our subjects again. One can be our allies. Are we at least winning this? Not even. Silly is still... I have no idea how Silly is so good at that at the moment. And Twer and Zubstov. Okay, this then Novgorod. Mm -mm. In fact, recombine with those guys. Burgundy is mine. He's pieced out. We'll see if we can piece out as well, so we can go concentrate on this other war. And then one bit of twer, and we're happy. The war reps would be nice, but we can't drag this on at the moment. We don't call that one because that's going to become Twer. Looks pretty dire for Austria. Would you delete the fort in Krakow? Oh. Ottomans say they want to buy it. This should help ensure that Austria really do want out. Now. How do we punish Austria here? We could take one bit of Tyrol for ourselves and then start setting up for the mass mass reconquest of Austria. It's going to be much easier to um, convince the electors 
to vote for me if Austria is super weak. Apparently I have to pay for you or else you're going to get grumpy. In fact, both of them are. That's surprising. What's going on here? I would have expected they should be happy. I suppose I do need some more units. Fine. What about once those are built? Are you going to be happier? Because I can't really afford that long term. So I want, what, one province from Austria and then... War reps. Yeah, that's made Sweden happy again. Although Burgundy still thinks he's too big for his britches. Yes, we're setting up Tyrol for reconquest, precisely. As much as anything, because it makes Austria smaller and weaker. And smaller, weaker Austria is strongly to our advantage. Now, I could just finish eating him. Burgundy, please concentrate here. Poland, please concentrate here. go. Eat, vassalize. Next time we can double reconquest for this and Twer. Help with Vienna. And you have finished so you can come down and help with Vienna as well. Build a barracks somewhere. Church in Danzig is actually good as well. really getting expensive. Take the money. Minimize our reinforcement costs. Demand away, I'll kill you. Although them existing on Goatland is a bit of a yuck. Okay, Austria should give us what we want. What I wanted was this and huge sums of money. And that was going to let me set up 
some subjects. This was going into Norway. Then we vassalize the rest, force his religion, get him to give up the cause on me. Not on Russia, not on there, but those ones. Release Twer, release Tyrrell. Activate quack, 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 quack. Strong duckies. Very good. And come home. <sighs> Don't need all these forts. Waste of money. I'm supposed to keep one here, here, and there, but... Until I own never myself, it's pointless. So we'll get rid of these. Strong duckies, exactly, Jackie. Yes, Tira wants a marriage. Pay back that. We're in the green again. Mostly because of the Austrian war reps, but hey. Any reason? Except the Novgorodian, we're going to want to moment. In fact, we can probably do that now. As if there isn't 20 dev. As if that doesn't add up to 20. Okay, those are Carolinian. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Fair enough, it doesn't. Now it does. And that drastically increases our money output. When is our truce with... Five years away? What the hell happened to... You? I guess you were just allied to too many of these guys and got eaten. Sucks. Minions must love me. And that probably means I can even stop funding Burgundy. Yes, it does. It's a new election cycle. I need more trade ships. Looks good. And this finishes and we drop autonomy everywhere. Now what else do we need to do? We need to... Humiliate Lubeck, which is more trade power here. So things like upgrading the COTs and the buildings and having some more trade ships. No, that one's much cheaper. Okay. Yes, yes. And goodbye autonomy. At least in the ones that are Novgorodian. Yep, that's four extra ducats a month. It's pretty sizable. 
Although we need to be ready for the Danzig Rebels, so get over there. Okay, I wanted... I do want to repay that, but I also want to do the next layer of upgrades. So we go, indebted to the burgers, mission, yoink, build the church, upgrade this, upgrade this, upgrade this, upgrade this. Upgrade you. Okay, it is time for the 100 million Swedish rebels, they say. Let them come. Getting the ones on the capital is the most important. Then over there. Very good. Now you can come help. Good. There. No, that one's much cheaper. Smush. Very good. 20 should beat 15. stack even if it means I would like to say that but I can't do that till I've killed these so we're gonna have to just take some normal loan I reckon this one and then we'll throw it away at the end of fighting these these various mercs These various rebels. And here. Okay, and then there. These. Okay. 
Okay. Now these. Trouble is, this is going to interrupt hitting this on time at the moment. No, that should get there in time. Ugh, and you. Chase. Alright, well, you're locked now. Kill that one, then we'll come back for this one. This one, then this one, and we're done. Alright, defeated. Get these over here. In fact, waddle these over as quickly as possible. Turn off your ability to call me into your wars. I'm doing this myself. Call back. This is my war. He's totally thinking about doing it himself. No, these are all mine. Every single one of them. Good. Okay. You managed to screw up yesterday by not knowing that reformed Sweden... No, yeah, you have to be Protestant. Um, there is an event that can trigger partway through the League War that can um, let the reformed people have equal footing, have equal rights, but usually the AI says no to that. As far as I'm aware, you go kill these. Leave four, otherwise get to there. Yes, we've slaughtered them. Gain some bonus mill points. We're quite young. It's gonna be lovely. Kill them. Smush. Beautiful. How long till we can do Russia part two? Mm, three years, yeah. We might as well might as well pay for these mercs till then. Nope. Our wife can jump. Oh, 
Hopefully Poland is happy enough with us that he'll accept that I've eaten all this. We'll see momentarily. Call this back, call this back. See if you'll let me let you out. Thank you. Now, we've got to decide. What do we want? I want... Reform progress growth? Sounds good. Mm. The extra cultures also sounds good. Global autonomy down sounds good. Has access to unique state edicts. So this might be the one that we saw yesterday. Waldgast had a bonus tax thingamy. Even though if I don't, like, I don't know that this is any good, but I just want to check out what the unique edicts are. I've not seen them before. So there's one for bonus tax. And that's it. Then it should have been called unique edict, not edicts. There's only one of them. I, I feel like we were robbed, but whatever. Yes. No. Maybe. Yes. But that means we're extending these ones. The plural is the ages. Oh, did I misread? No. Access to unique state edict. Yeah, I got 75 ducats. Sure. No, but it's edicts. Plural. Right? One is an edict. Two is edicts. Although I suppose they're called... No, but they're called edicts here because you can see more than one. See? Select edict. Select the singular. Anyway. This, this, eat everything. See if Poland goes crazy. Poland has not gone crazy, and he'll be even less crazy once we've finished coring. We're right. Everyone is happy enough that we can even yoink. When is our truce with Austria? Mmm, do we do Austria for Tyrol first? Or do we do Muscovy for Twer and Novgorod? Choices, choices. I think decreasing Austria. Did you see Tyrrell with 20? I think those are Burgundy. Tyrrell has three. It's a new election cycle. Let's have a look at our new stats. Those are absolutely terrible and we don't have much of a chance anyway. One can be allies, own subjects. Trade man. What month next year is the truce with Russia and Austria? Who are your friends? Who are my other friends, possibly? The Pope. Yeah, I need to get rid of some of these. 
One trust down with you. Please say you didn't attack into that whole HR. He did. Well, on the other hand, this means that there's kind of more reason to do this anyway. Because he's already at war with, uh, yeah, we should do this one first. Then we'll go do Russia. We have click. Click, we get our extra special one of these. Which basically just gives our our um years for personal personal union integration minus forty. Maybe that means you can annex them early. Yes, that means we can annex them early. Hmm. Gain that. Gain that. Declare Austria tasty food. Although, if we're trying to form Sweden thingy as quickly as possible, we should really do this right now. Yeah, start both of them. Call this back. And declare that you're tasty food. Go. So, you to here. These guys back off and group together. Help our annexation rate. Make sure we're correctly focused. Bit by bit. Yeah, I can't see us losing this. Um, who else needs to love me more? The electors and Twer. Definitely Twer. You should marry me, so should you, but you're a republic. So should you. I love being... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't use it because you want to be above 50 at all times. Especially when I'm playing quickly like this and I can't micromanage the uh, events for the Pope dislikes us as much. Or keep track of 100% of the time who is the um, controller. So if we had a rival get control and we had two of the Pope events and I just haven't been tracking exactly how much the Pope loves me... We can end up in a situation where I could be excommunicated and it be the end of the run, functionally, like cause us to need to restart. And rather than risk that, it is simpler for me to just always keep at least 50 poke points in the bank so they can't excom me. There's no downside. What's the downside? You, I suppose you could argue the downside is that I'm not getting the reward for my poke points as quickly as possible. And there is at least something to be said for that, but I don't think it's worth the massive convenience of not having to pay attention to all that microing as much. Single stack back together. See if we can get rid of any of your friends yet. Money and money. Beautiful. Who else? Rain. Money and money. Beautiful. Yes, it's a little known thing. If you have 50 poke points, if you try and XCOM someone, which we can't show you, it will say they have too much influence with the Holy Father. And not allow it. Uh, I need to do these. There, that gets rid of our too many. Yes, annexation cost down. Uh, no, it's mine and always will be.
Can't you just pay in... Once you're big, that button is huge. Like, why would I spend thousands of ducats for something? You're literally saying the traffic that I should spend thousands of ducats for something that I can get for free by just making sure I keep this number above 50. Thousands of ducats, on the one hand, keeping number above 50 at no cost. Like, the cost is waiting more to do your first click. From then on, everything is the same. I would rather save the thousands of ducats. We're tiny, and it's already 200 ducats. Once you own like this, it will be thousands of ducats. Okay, now what do I want? I want you to give back these and give one of those to me so that I can set up Stria. Aggressive expansion. Poland is winning. You once bought indulgence as France for 5,500 ducats. You wish you had every ducat back. Yup. And all you have to do is keep this number above 50. Thank you, Crimson. It's really not very hard. So this, this, and war reps until next time. Thank you. Go deal with Muscovy. Hello, Stria. Maybe Poland-Lithuania makes them give up some more. <laughs> you had no choice. You needed it to keep all your vassals from rebelling. I want my land back. No. Tough luck. Now can we do you? Wait, what? Who's in the coalition against me, other than you? Brandenburg, you say? Okay, we'll suck up to him for a little bit. There's no point doing this if he's already annexing. Yep, annex Twer, that's a reasonable mission. I'm surprised he thinks our aggressive expansion is so bad, but I suppose I did eat all these German bits. No, our stats are garbage there. And I've got the manpower now to start buffing out our force limit with real units instead of those mercs. How much does it cost to throw money at you? Too much. Sure. I will temporarily proclaim guarantee. We might even ally him. It's not like he rivals anyone that particularly matters. Two more months, get him as an ally, and then go do Muscovy. So he should realize he's friendly.
You just kept clicking the buttons. You were addicted. It's a powerful drug. Okay, I want these back. Kill. Keep you happy. Marriage, access. I can stop any time I want. I just don't want to. Uh, I'll take the dip rep. Diplo relations, because that's actually really hurting us at the moment, being over. You go fix that. You guys, down here. You need a guy. That and then that. This and then this. You guys could all head here. Kaluga. Mm, actually, sit in the middle where you can reinforce either. I'll take the legitimacy at the moment. No, I want you there, then there. Very good. Ouch. Is there a half price next level person? No, sadly. There. Now, what have I even said I'm reconquering? That, so good work. Yeah, we can deal with those in a sec. Poland can't actually help with that because they're Polish rebels. And then what do I want back? So, being careful, what I want back is sort by person. This, this, this. Seriously? Don't you have more than that? Yes, yes you do. No, I need that. You go do ally insurance on there. actually going to hurt more than I want to admit. Run over there. You get over here as well then. How much war score for what I want? Odiev, go away. I should ram these into my enemies and get rid of them. It's time to stop paying for them. Either you hop off that siege or you lose this fight. You have selected hop off the siege. And then we throw these away. Well, we can give them one more ram. Double check this. So I still want... Sort by person. I want... This, and this, and this, and this, and this. I'm sorry, what? Oh, that was the Mercs dying, which is fine. We wanted to kill them off anyway. Mm. 
one bit of ally insurance. Everyone else come over to Moskva. Moskva. Looks good. Double check. Looks good. Plus war reps, maybe. Beautiful. Done. Come home. And now we don't even have any mercs. Absolutely lovely. You start with a fetishist trader. I wonder if it's historical. Presumably. Poland did win. Start paying for the more expensive man. I need the annexations to finish. In fact, we should die because this guy has, although worse stats overall, stats that I need for the first part of this achievement. Yep, because now those both continue. Doesn't seem historical. The Swedes and those their BS BDSM. <sighs> Well, he, he's into trading, apparently. That's what Salah was saying. They're into trading. University. Yeah, we were disappointed by this, but hey, we know now. Maybe it changes next age, and it'll be nice to see what it actually changes into. Take that slightly early. Yes, the Byzantium refugees are welcome. I didn't think that this would be too big for you. So split in half. Have two people, train both. Okay, you love us, and we can start working on the next electors. So... Palatinate. And... You. It's a pity those aren't permanent modifiers, but whatever. It wouldn't matter if they were permanent modifiers, because it's not like you can form Denmark. Oh, yeah, let's have a look. Shooter Nyorain, who's fetishist. No, we're waiting for that. How much more naval libin, if any? And also, I would like to lower autonomy in all of this. Trouble is, we're now... Actually, I was going to say when we're above that, but we aren't. I would have been lying. So I can lower that autonomy. Pay your taxes. Pay your taxes.
Weird that Poland doesn't hate me. They accept that they're weaker than me. Nations will only try and get the land that's their perma claims if they think they're bigger than you. And he accepts that he is not bigger than me. Hello, Burgundy. Pay to keep them happy. We need to delete all these, because otherwise we're massively over force limit. Start full stating all of this. Get rid of the forts, because they're a waste of money. Do we have enough trade here now to be, yes, worth doing that rather than pushing up from Saxony? There's no way that isn't worth more. Trade jumps from 14 up to 15 and a half. And we could make it even better by redirecting you across to here. You guys gather up there. Muscovy is losing to PLC, which is fine. Take the ducats. Re-raise with maybe the Pope Boy. Yep, it's been a while. Pope and auto friends. Now, assuming we're going to continue this... I'm going to want this. Didn't Burgundy have a trade fleet? Apparently not. Oh, they did. They're just sitting in the middle of the English Channel. Well, between England and Ireland. Come help there as well. And we could have a flagship. So we want a heavy that has trade power per ship and has the extra chance of leveling up your admirals. Hmm. Why is that going to take so long? Okay, call that one back. New enemies can be France and the Ottomans. I'm going to want this guy to be ready to annex, but he already is super happy. I'm going to want to know when my truce with Austria is. Two more years. You aren't happy enough, so... Marriage, raise. Merge. I kind of want these to get over here. Yes, because I really want this so that these finish quicker. Mm, claims adjacent to claims. And I really should do this now if we're trying to do the first achievement quickly. And we are. Make you extra happy. See? He accepts that the land isn't his. And if there's nothing for you to do, how about you go suck up to Novgorod? We'll do these two once we've done these two. <sighs> 
Starting to make mad money. Mm. The all estate happiness one is pretty nice. How many cardinal points do I get? Nah. I reckon just keep the estates happy. The happier that they are, the more often I can yoink. And yet still have them give me the extra bonuses for having high influence but high happiness. Good morning, Hugo Asusu. G'day, g'day, g'day. And Ladoga. I wouldn't have thought this is so hard to convert when I'm on, like, positive stab. It's an accepted culture. Middle of next year is Austria. We can even have some cannons. Shock horror. How rich must I be that I'm willing to spend on cannons? Yeah, there's been a bunch of them. Um, Pilot Wings. The original Paper Mario. There's one in the works for whenever Nahodoi is around. But they don't seem to be here at the moment. Um, there's one where we've got to play Prussia. There was Anben. Yeah, I try to. I try to forget that Finn boy. Why do you say things that you know will hurt me? Let's go reconquer these for our minions. And head on over. Shouldn't have bought infantry? Yeah, but I think our force limit will go up as well. And I'm still below it. Speaking of, we've annexed Norway. So, where's the eat Norway button? Go full core all this. Get rid of the useless forts. Join your brothers. You go join the trade fleet. You can be on auto. Go. Go and money, England. Do. I don't know what quite... I don't know what Bergens feels like Austria did to them. But it doesn't really matter. No, just stay here. Split, stay here. Split, stay here. Wait for them to give up these two. Now I needed... You and Novgorod to be happy, but it looks like you are. So we can go back to doing our friends instead. Who might deploy Vassalize, sorry? We can challenge the English Navy. We've sacked Vienna, why not? Am I making claims through Germany? No, for the moment I'm worrying about annexing these two away because we are hideously over our relationships limit. We were before we finished annexing you. Um, I'm also going to want some heavy ships for... Oh. 
Okay, you're trying to piece me out. Yes, I can accept that. Give these back. Shouldn't that one be part of him as well? No, only those four. And one of them is indeed now in Venice. Sucks to be us. That. War reps. Cash. Done. See if Venice will give in to a threat. They say no. Who are you friends with? Castile. I still think we could potentially beat that up. And in fact, you're a good friend. If we can stop you getting friends with Venice, then we can probably make them accept that that threat is viable. You all over to here. And then what I wanted to do was get rid of... Twer. Duckets. Split. Come on, Sweden. Muscovy in a year. Trouble is, I no longer have a way of eating Muscovy. What we'll do is we'll flip into this once these annexes are done. Boundary dispute. What I'd really love is the uh, Muscovite border friction thing. Cossacks are raiding your hippos. Um, raiding your... Your lands. Uh, if we didn't already have it, I should activate the I'm allowed to annex everyone one. Thank you. Okay, and that's a new time for the first achievement. We cut that down by an hour and something. Or we will have once we click the buttons. This, 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 this. Done. 